Good morning, YouTubers. This is Zip Code Papa Parik. Mass Shiny the night two eight eight seven on this Friday, September twenty seventh. This very foggy Friday, September twenty seventh here in Southern California in the night two eight eight seven. And this is election collection number forty seven, the forty sixth state, Oklahoma. Oklahoma came into the union on November sixteenth, nineteen oh seven. That was about almost 12 years after the last state came in, Utah. And uh, Oklahoma, if you don't know where that is on the map, it's toward the, the middle, actually right in the middle, but toward the bottom of the map of the United States. Uh, on its east sit Arkansas, and on its northeast, Missouri. On the north, Kansas. Uh, on the Northwest, Colorado, a small part of the panhandle touches Colorado. On the west, New Mexico, and on the southwest and south, it's Texas. Oklahoma looks like a big cooking pot or a coonskin hat turned upside down. I like the cooking pot better. In fact, as I said, they call that part of the state, um, the northwest, called the panhandle. You can see why. Modern Oklahoma has a population of just over 4 million, 28 out of 50. I thought there were more, to be honest. Land area of 68,595 square miles, placing it 19th out of 50. 77 counties there. For the, night, for the 2020 election, excuse me, every single one of them, every single one of them went for uh, the Republican in 2020. Went for the Republican. Every single one of them. It doesn't mean that Oklahoma is necessarily the reddest state in terms of uh, Republican and Democrat ratio, but it's not too far off. Um, and it is ironic considering that there are more, there is a higher percentage of American Indians in this state than there are in any others. Those guys tend to vote Democrat and they probably do here as well, but somehow there's enough of a mix of people and enough different things going on, enough of a population to where you get some, get some variation. So even that doesn't matter here. Uh, from 1960 on, only one of the elections went for the Democrat. The other 15 went for the Republican. Not so much Dixiecrats here. Uh, not really. More Indian country, as has always been known. Uh, for the 2020 election, the ratio of Republican and Democrat was 2.025 to 1, so over 2 to 1. And it's fourth only behind Wyoming, West Virginia, and North Dakota for being the reddest state. Um, that's Oklahoma in a nutshell. It, it very probably, most likely, will go for a Republican again in 2024. Remains to be seen. Uh, we hope those seven electoral votes that Oklahoma has um, go for the worthy opponent, go for the worthy candidate, I should say. Seven out of 538, go for it, Oklahoma. Oh, and for you zip code freaks out there, anything in Oklahoma will be starting with 730 and running through 749. Anyway, if you like, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.